Hi everyone, I just wanted to bring to your attention this really powerful Gantt chart uh, template that's available for Microsoft Excel. If you've ever been in a situation like me where you needed to show some sort of timeline and you don't have a license for Microsoft Project, this is a great tool to have in your toolbox. You can show timelines in like a monthly view, you can easily switch it to look at the same information in a weekly view, and if you want to, you can go down to daily. It's also super interactive. You can, you can scroll things back and forward and it all updates on the screen and it's designed so that when you want to print the thing, it's already going to fit on a page just the way you want. I love it. Let me walk you through some of the other cool features of it. You have the ability to set what days are weekends and then it will show bars for the weekend. And in the settings, you can choose which days are the weekend. So if Friday was your weekend, instead of Saturday and Sunday, you can adjust and those, those weekend markers will go. Similarly, you can also include specialized uh, holiday days and it will display those on the chart. So if I wanted to have something on the 2nd of January, for example, I could do that and then it's going to show up here. If you want to have relationships between tasks, what you can do is you can just get this, the start date of one task and say it's the end date of the previous task plus one. Then when you change the length of one task or the other, it's going to move both of those bars. If you adjust the days, you'll notice that it will even take into account the weekends. You don't have to do anything extra. It just does that for you. And the same with holidays. It will jump over the holidays if you adjust to include so now on the 26th of January, there we are. Now if I change this holiday here to be the 26th of Jan, it's taken into account and pushed things out an extra day. I can't claim credit for this thing. I didn't make it, I just think it's really cool. And what I also think is really cool is there's actually a video series on how it's built with step-by-step -step instructions. And this video series um, is actually what inspired me to create my own video series where I create a oscilloscope using Microsoft Excel and an Arduino. If you really just want the template, there is a website that you can go and download it. And that's all I've got to say about the thing. I think it's awesome. And thanks for listening and watching. See ya.